apologies for the late upload. It was a busy New Year's weekend between having our makeup Christmas Eve dinner on New Year's Eve and visiting my family on New Year's Day. I didn't have time to upload a 2022 recap video, so I guess I'll do that now. Between all the sickness and death that surrounded us, being forced to resign from my job and our apartment being flooded from Hurricane Ida, it felt like all of 2022 was spent recovering from all of 2021. So while I may not have gotten all the things done that I wanted to get done in 2022 for the sake of both my physical and mental health, a little R&R &R was welcome and possibly necessary. So the year started off beautifully with our trip to Maui, which we had had to postpone from November of the previous year due to my getting shingles. Which, funny enough, turned out for the better, as January was the start of whale-watching season. Also, the weather was perfect. Which is significant because we were told by someone we know who lived on Maui that for the entire time that we would have originally gone in November, it was pretty much non-stop rain and flooding. Needless to say, our vacation in paradise would have been ruined, so we actually caught a dumb lucky break there. And... What a vacation it was. Maui is an absolutely gorgeous place. We stayed in an open air hotel right off the beach. And after that arduous 10 hour flight, once we got up to our room, I spent two hours just staring out the window, gazing at that magnificent sunset over the Pacific Ocean. Palm trees gently waving in the wind. The other end of the island faintly visible in the distance, partially shrouded in fog with wind turbines on it seen spinning, I felt like I was dreaming. I could not believe that I was there. We did the road to Hana, the Mount Haleakala Sunrise Tour, whale watching, zip lining. We went to a luau. We went to a pineapple farm. I bought a Hawaiian shirt. It was magnificent, and we can't wait to go back. That was January. Then February came along and decided... You know, Edge, you're too happy. Let's knock you down a peg. And so my girlfriend ended up in the hospital again. Same exact symptoms as the previous July. No flood this time while she was in the hospital. That actually happened later in the summer while we were dog sitting. But long story short, we were informed that my girlfriend has a gluten intolerance. And so she's been forced to eat gluten free ever since. And not because she wants to be trendy, but because if she doesn't, it might kill her. Thankfully, that was as bad as it got in 2022. Of course, Mother Nature decided to throw one last curveball a week before Christmas by giving us COVID, but we got through it, and everything in between was overall pretty sweet. I did more traveling and stuff this year than any other year in my life. We went to parties. We went to street festivals. We shopped at marketplaces. I visited Adventureland for the first time since I was in college. We went to Boston in August. I rode on a private boat for the first time since I was a baby. We went to two engagement parties, an actual wedding in upstate New York in October. I joined a gym for the first time in 16 years. I contributed to the saving of our democracy in November. I did so much in 2022 that I can't even fit it all into this video. And for me, that's really saying something. Because I have always been a deeply introverted, socially awkward, fucked up, depressed person whose safe space was staying inside playing video games and watching TV. That's probably why the early days of the pandemic weren't that bad for me when almost everyone else and their mother was climbing the walls. Because while everyone else was in lockdown, I was just doing the things I always did 365 days a year. And, you know, while I'm still very much the troubled person I just described, I still have bad days. I'm probably going to be suffering from depression one way or another for the rest of my life. I'm not doing that bad. I'm, I'm not doing that bad. And that's in spite of no longer being prescribed any medication by my shrink. And now here we are in 2023. I've still got a lot of things on my plate, things I want to do, things I need to do, like losing weight, for instance. It's going to be one hell of a struggle. It already is. And I might fail. But if I do, I'm determined to go down swinging. Till next time, happy new year, guys. Be well, be kind, be smart. Like, comment, subscribe.